Joining me now is North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer. Great to see you, sir. Good to be with you. Thank you. You're taking this fight with China and Mexico. The president is saying he has no choice. These two countries have abused the United States for too long. Your take? Well, he's exactly right on both points and both countries, but he was also right, I think, in the sense that his instincts, his understanding of leverage um, defied what, of course, a lot of the experts said. And that, but he always understood that if you have a $400 billion trade deficit with somebody, they have more to lose than you have to lose. And when you're 20% of the world's economy with 5% of the world's population, we're the ones that ought to have the leverage. He's been exercising that leverage. And, and the fact that, that China's economy is suffering so much as a result of of uh, the, you know the trade impasse that we're at and, and the imposition of tariffs, I think is illustrative exactly of the point that Donald Trump tried to make from the very beginning. What's your take on small businesses and businesses here saying, you know what, we're going to pay the tax, our consumers will pay the tax? Well, we all know that. I mean, I believe that at the end of the day, every kind of tax, whether it's a carbon tax or a tariff or a sales tax, gets paid by the consumer of the product, whether it's a single product or whether it's, you know, all the products in a value chain that eventually end up in the final product. At the end of the day, price is affected. And this newest round it seems to be leaning more that way. But I would also remind people that when President Trump announced tariffs on an additional $200 billion worth of Chinese goods, they responded with tariffs on $60 billion of U.S. goods. I think illustrating exactly the point that they have more to lose than we have. They do have a seemingly a renewed interest in, in negotiating again. And, and uh, you, know, this is, you know, this is not for the timid, obviously, but thank goodness that we have a president that's standing up to him. Well, once. it isn't over. Let's get to Mexico. The yes. president is getting criticism for using tariffs to try to stop the flow of illegals in Mexico. Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney defended this. Watch. The reason that we're doing things that people don't expect is that we're facing things on the border that we've never experienced before. So yes, we are using, using extraordinary tools because there's extraordinary circumstances uh, that dictate those. And criticism of the 2020 Democrats completely AWOL with no policies to fix what's going on with Mexico. Does Mexico need to do more to stop what's going on with its southern border? There's no question, Liz, they should do more to stop what's going on at their southern border, and they ought to do less to facilitate the movement of all of that traffic from Central America up to the United States, including right at, um, right at the U.S.-Mexico border. But I'd also add to that, not only should Mexico be doing more, but so should the United States Congress. I mean, I know I'm a part of the, I'm part of the institution that's, that's not lived up to what the president should expect of us, but we really need to do our part as well. He's doing what he's doing with these extraordinary measures. Measures, as Mick said, because we haven't done what we're, we're supposed to do as a Congress, and that is appropriate funding appropriately and, and, uh, and set the priorities, or at least fund the priorities that he has correctly identified, and that is a crisis at our southern border. Thank you, Senator Kramer. Thanks for joining us. And for 